The big story we're watching today, a group of armed anti-government protesters in Oregon have seized at least one government building at the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge in Oregon. They say they won't leave until their demands are met. Late Monday, the local sheriff spoke to reporters. I want to talk directly to the people at the wildlife refuge. You said you were here to help the citizens of Harney County. That help ended when a peaceful protest became an armed occupation. The Hammonds have turned themselves in. It's time for you to leave our community, go home to your families, and end this peacefully. The FBI is now taking the lead, and they're on the scene, but have so far tread very lightly. Our hope is that local law enforcement Uh, can resolve the situation uh, peacefully and relatively soon uh, in a way that's consistent with the rule of law. And the FBI has indicated that they're monitoring the situation and have offered support uh, to local law enforcement as they try to resolve it. Uh, And we're hopeful that it can be uh, resolved without any violence. And Ryan Bundy joins me now. Ryan, it's good to see you today. Dwight and Stephen Hammond have turned themselves back into federal authorities to face more prison time. Now that they've done that, hasn't your mission been satisfied? Wasn't that your goal to bring attention to their plight? Well, in part, that was our goal, but no, that's not our total mission. What what is your mission? Well, you realize that the Hammonds are just one of many who are being oppressed and, and, and pushed around by fearful tactics. And so it's our goal to restore the Constitution and to defend it, to restore the rights uh, of the people to access the land and resources here that belong to the people. Why do you think that you have a right to profit off of land that you don't own? Uh, I don't intend to profit. Um, I'm talking about the people here that do have right to profit. Who, Who is that? Who do you see as having a right to profit? Well, those who own the range rights, those who own the mineral rights, those who own the the rights to log, the local people own this land. The land belongs to the people, that's simple. Our founding fathers never intended for the land to belong to the nation. They intended for the land and resources to be used uh, for the prosperity uh, of, of the people themselves, the people who live here, the people who have to make a livelihood here. Uh, that's only the right thing. There's nothing else that could be right. That is right. And the BLM manages that land, and they do allow uh, the mineral rights, they do allow ranching rights, but then you pay fees for that kind of thing. Can you explain to me specifically what problem you have with the government administering the land in that way? Sure, they have no right or jurisdiction to administer it. Uh, You do realize that the Constitution of the United States is what creates the federal government. We, the people, uh, through the Constitution, said, okay, this is what we want our government to be. We, we, we create you and we give you certain uh, duties and certain responsibilities and we give you power to, to carry out those duties. And the Constitution is, is the, the law. Uh, Article 6 of the Constitution says this is the supreme law, this Constitution. And, and uh, Article, well, the Tenth Amendment, uh, clearly states that if it's not in the Constitution, then it's reserved to the states or the people. And so when we talk about land ownership, where in the Constitution did we give the federal government the right to own or to control land? There is one place, that is Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 of the United States Constitution. But I think, I think, clearly, I think it is clear, Ryan, that you and the other members who have joined you do not own that land, that you don't have the title to the property. So I guess I'm confused about what you're trying to accomplish. And and by the way, it's a national story. So have you made your point? The sheriff says it's time to get off the land. Uh, You're asking too many questions at once. But again, it sounds to me like you're trying to make this about us. Uh, This is not about us, me, my brothers, and, and those who are here with us to profit off the land. No, this is not about us. We're not here for ourselves. 
We are here for the, the local people of Harney County and the people of Oregon to help and support them. This is not about us. Do you think that you could commit to leaving the wildlife refuge without violence and without gunfire? Oh yeah, that's that's been our whole intent. We we don't we don't we don't want that. We uh, we are here for a peaceful resolution to restore the rights and of the people. Okay, that's what's it. so what's that actually mean? What would it take for you to leave the wildlife refuge peacefully? Okay, well we. Uh, Number one, need to recognize that the land does not belong to the federal government, that they do not have control here, that this land does belong to the state and her people, that the resources, which is the forage, the minerals, the, the, the logging, that all belongs to the people, and it needs, and it needs to be distributed to them and, and allow them to use that in freedom for their prosperity. Ryan Bundy there at the Malheur Wildlife Refuge in Oregon. Ryan, thank you. Thank you.